Hello everyone, this is Jessin from Edilogix where we provide you all the information that you need under one platform to start your nursing career abroad. In our today's video, we are going to talk about the new competency assessment examinations that have been introduced by New Zealand Nursing Council. We had done a video before on this topic in 2023 where we had limited information, but now New Zealand Nursing Council has provided more information about the new examinations. Last week, the New Zealand Nursing Council has provided more information about the MCQ examination and the proposed OSCE examination conducted by the New Zealand Nursing Council. Council. So to simplify, let's begin with what is not changing in this new process. Number one, CGFNS remains the assessing authority for even new applicants and you have to apply to CGFNS first before applying to New Zealand Nursing Council. CGFNS, like before, will go through all your documentation and issue an advisory report which they will send to New Zealand Nursing Council along with your documents and educational qualification. After getting your advisory report by CGFNS, New Zealand Nursing Council will provide you a link and invite you to start the application process. Second thing which is not changing is the requirement for OET and IELTS scores. So there was a lot of miscommunication and misinformation on social media saying that maybe the New Zealand Nursing Council will reduce the IELTS or OET requirement but this has not changed at all. You will still need to get a 350 for reading, speaking and listening and 300 for writing if you are taking OAT. If you are taking IELTS Academic, you will need to get 7 in reading, speaking and listening and 6.5 in writing as before. Now let's talk about what are the big changes. First of all, the experience requirement is changing. Earlier, it was mandatory that you have 2,500 hours of work experience after your license to be eligible to apply to New Zealand Nursing Council. Now, this time they have reduced it to 1,800 hours of post-registration experience. If you have no post-registration experience at all, you are not eligible to apply to New Zealand Nursing Council. The second big change is introduction of some online courses that all internationally qualified qualified nurses have to compulsory attend on the online portal of New Zealand Nursing Council. This online program is called Welcome to New Zealand and it has two online courses which provides you information about providing culturally safe nursing practice in New Zealand. Apart from this, the biggest and most important change is scrapping of the competency assessment program or the CAP program which was earlier there to get the registration. Instead, now nurses have to appear in two exams. The first one is called MCQ or IQN theoretical examination and the second examination is called an OSCE practical examination. The online theoretical or MCQ examination will be conducted by Pearson View across many countries in the world Candidates will get 120 questions and they need to complete this exam in 180 minutes or 3 hours. This examination will have two parts. Part A will be a medication safety examination and part B will be a nursing knowledge examination. On your first attempt, you'll have to appear in both part A and part B that is medication safety and nursing knowledge examination. Let's say unfortunately you fail in one of the parts of the examination, you will be only required to reappear in that particular part and you will not be required to take the whole examination. Isn't that an amazing news? You will get three attempts to pass this examination but remember every time you appear in this exam you'll have to pay the fees. I'll talk about the fees involved in the video later so stay tuned until the end. Okay the second examination is an assessment of your clinical competence as a nurse and this exam is called objective structural clinical examination. Before you appear in this exam you will have a two-day orientation or preparation program conducted by the New Zealand Nursing Council and the accredited center. After completion of of the two-day preparation program on the third day you will be required to sit in the OSCE examination. The orientation or preparation program as well as the examination will be conducted face-to-face -face in Christchurch in New Zealand. I believe you will be able to apply for an occupational registration visa to come to New Zealand and do your preparation and examination. This preparation program as well as the examination is conducted by Nurse Mod Simulation Center in Christchurch. Okay, the OSCE examination will assess your clinical competence as a nurse, whether you will be able to provide safe and culturally effective nursing practice in New Zealand. There will be 10 OSCE stations in this examination and each station will be allocated 
12 minutes. Out of this 12 minutes, 2 minutes will be the reading time, 10 minutes will be the performance time and the remaining 2 minutes will be allocated to you to move to the next station. Similar to the theoretical examination, if you fail this exam, you will be provided 2 more attempts that is in total of 3 attempts to pass the OSCE exam. Okay, so the OSCE exam or the clinical exam will be launched by June 1st, 2024. Let's move to the most important part of the video where I'm going to tell you about all the fees involved in this whole process. So the first fees is a CJFNS international fees which remains unchanged and will be 300 US dollars. The second fee that you will need to pay is New Zealand Nursing Council fees which will be again unchanged that is 485 New Zealand dollars. Coming to the internationally qualified nurses MCQ exam or the theoretical exam, the fees for this exam is 140 New Zealand dollars. As I explained to you before that you can reset the parts in which you failed if in case you fail them in your first attempt and if you do that, if you need to appear or reappear in the medication safety part, you will need to pay 32 New Zealand dollars to reset in the exam. The second scenario, if you fail the nursing knowledge or the part B examination, then you will need to pay 108 New Zealand dollars to reset in the part B exam. Let's talk about the OSCE examination. The preparation or the orientation program will cost you 500 New Zealand dollars and the examination fees will be $3,000. In a total of 3,500 New Zealand dollars, you will be able to complete your OSCE exam. Apart from this, you will have to undergo the international criminal history check for each country, the fees for which is 159 Australian dollars. Once you have passed all the examination, you will have to pay New Zealand Nursing Council 130 New Zealand dollars to obtain your annual practicing certificate and that's it your registration procedure will be complete and then you can start your practice as a registered nurse in New Zealand. I am expecting the New Zealand Nursing Council to publish a handbook or more information about the exams and once they do that I will definitely come back and provide you all the information you need. Last but not the least the current timeline of New Zealand Nursing Council application is four months which is separate from the CGFNS process so make sure that you complete your CGFNS assessment timely and then put your application to New nursing council don't worry if you do not hear from them immediately because they are processing a high number of applications i'm sure this video is being watched by many of the uk and ireland registered nurses who are using the new zealand nursing council pathway to get their license with apra as well by the conversion method and I know many of the YouTubers have come on record and said that this program will be scrapped, etc. And probably they will also need to write the examinations. If you hold a current nursing license in UK or Ireland, as well as countries such as Singapore, USA and provinces such as British Columbia or Ontario, you will not need to complete any examinations and the current process of direct application to New Zealand Nursing Council will still be applicable. So what are you waiting for UK Ireland nurses or Singaporean nurses you can still apply to New Zealand Nursing Council and if you wish you can later on change your Nursing Council registration to APRA as well. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please share this with one of your friends and see their life changing. Of course, if you need any assistance with your CGFNS, New Zealand Nursing Council process, or you want to take the UK Ireland registration pathway to Australia and New Zealand, our friendly staff members are always there to help you. Please make sure to contact us on WhatsApp or email and I'm sure you will not regret it. Until next time, stay safe, my friends. Take care.